Welcome, 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 everybody. This is the Inebriated Podcast. This is your host, Sam C., and your boy, J. Depp of the Soulquestrian Collective in the building. Welcome, welcome, everybody. This is our first episode of April. We're coming into this new month with new energy, new conversations. Things are happening all over the world. We, let's start with, you know, RIP Nipsey Hussle, man, out of, out of California. You know, such a soul to lose. You know, it was, it's, it's crazy that, you know, our, our, the best ones come and go so quickly that we really wasn't able to appreciate them, especially with his last album, you know, Victory Lap. I just heard nothing but great reviews about it. I ain't going to lie. I wasn't the biggest fan, but I have to admit that the man did put in some work. You know, every track that I heard him on, he went in, he went in. You know, how do, I, how do you feel about the Nipsey situation? No, it's a very sad situation. I, I've been a fan of Nipsey for a while since the marathon. Um, I liked a couple records off of, uh, you know, Bullets Ain't Got No Names, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, he's a, he's a few pieces away. But I became a real invested fan during the marathon when he spit over that uh, that flip of a million with uh, that Jay-Z had as his intro for volume one. Okay, you know, okay. The, you know what I'm saying? The, the, that flip, the Aaliyah, uh, one in a million, you know what I'm saying? A million, uh, 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 uh. Right, right. And he bodied that shit. And, you know, the intro to that record was crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? He had a couple bangers on it. And that would made me a big fan of him. And to see that happen, just, you know, off a regular case of bitch-ass motherfucker You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. That motherfucker was suffering from it a lot. And, you know, allegedly it was based off of, you know, him being a snitch and, you know, this and that. Well, and yeah. well his homeboy was a snitch or whatever, and he came out. And was hating on Nipsey and try to go back yeah. to the block. And Nipsey was like, nah, nigga, you can't be around here. Get from around here. And the homie wasn't trying to hear that. Came back and murked him. And I mean, uh, the surveillance footage is out. I mean, I, I, I don't advise anybody that's sensitive to that type of subject of, of murder and like and live and, and effect. If anybody's affected by that, then don't watch it. But there's clear surveillance footage of the murder occurring. And it's just, you know, it's just sad. It's just sad to it's see crazy, that, that the hate in the world is really that real, you know. And it's really the ones that you're closest to that hate you the most. Oh, of course, man, of course. It's actually a situation that I see a lot with somebody from around the way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The mayor. And I see it. And all he tries to do is do good shit, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for the east side and stuff like that. And there's still people that, you know, hate on him. Now, whether it's because of maybe personal shit. Maybe I, I wouldn't know about that. Maybe they don't like, you know, what he raps about or, you know, the way he raps or whatever. Right. Maybe it could be that. But I know that his resume alone, he's doing a lot more than a lot of motherfuckers that are from the east side and oh, all from facts. around the way try to do. Facts. They say all them toy giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, every yeah, every Christmas. year, every year. Tone it's C, a, man. Shout out to Tone C, bro. If you ever see this, come holler at us. The Inebriated Podcast. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to see this. I'll, I'll fucking go over there right now. But like, yo, come on, come through, motherfucker. I, I know, but he, you know he could come holler at us. It's all love, man. He could come holler at us anytime, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely come holler at us. We'll we'll play shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Live. We'll do a live stream and everything. Always. But you know what I'm saying? But back to that Nipsey thing, I think I think we should take a, a toast. Yes, Make yes. a toast to his memory, actually. Shout out to Nipsey. Because, you know what I'm saying? It was a, a life cut short. You know, just getting started. But he, he got he got a lot through. And through his death, what I've seen is a, almost like a spiritual awakening in a lot of motherfuckers from that, that kind of, and not even that community alone, but just from all walks of life that can relate to that community. You know, it don't got to be California, you know what I'm saying? And you see it, it's like, you know what they say? Like, like you know the old Tupac quote was like, you know saying We don't die, we multiply. Facts. And right. like, I could see that trade a uh, thought multiplying and that's a beautiful thing that's one of the positives we could take from such a horrific situation and to that we drink in the nipsey memory hustle. of nipsey hustle to nipsey god bless and bless god very good tequila very good tequila oh, oh. and then so oh. from there Jeez. <laughs> Did you know? You know, tequila is the only, the only alcohol. Oh, that's an upper. That's a stimulant. I did not know that. Here, the alcohol is a downer. Is it depressing? Like, yeah, yeah. You feel? <laughs> Damn. 
Woo! This shit done stimulated my burp reflex. <laughs> All right. Woo. So, I mean, with the Nipsey Hustle thing, especially, man, you know, uh, my condolences to Lauren London and, and that whole Nipsey family, his 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 baby yes, mama yes. or ex wife, however, the situation may have been. You know, Nipsey was definitely a great influence to the community, especially, you know, around, I mean, not only in California, but I would say in every metropolitan city, you know, they really fuck with him. You feel me? If he would have came to Miami, it would have been lit. Shit, I, I was there when he came down. I believe it was, uh, I can see, I can't remember if it was 2010, 2011. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, man, right. I've, been, I've, been, I've been a fan. I've been a fan for Nipsey for a minute. And when he came down to that show, man, that shit. It was a good show, man. You know what I'm saying? And and my boy got the uh, opportunity to interview him as well. Really? Yes. I'm trying to remember the website. It, it's on the tip of my tongue, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dog. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Murph. Yo, Murph, I see you, man. Wherever you at, God bless you. Bless your family, brother. You know what I'm saying? Come check but out I, the podcast. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll get it on. Let's get it on. You feel me? I, I remember when, uh, when they did their thing and they interviewed him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a story he already told. You right. know what I'm saying? On social media, so I know he wouldn't mind me telling it. But he said, like, when he first met him, he said, boy, like, he walked in the room and Nipsey pressed him. This was like, yo, you a blood youngin'? And then my man repped uh. his set. And he said that Nipsey laughed. And they said, man, come here, man. We fuck with you. Bob, that was it. <laughs> and that's when he realized. He said that that was the moment that he realized that it ain't about, you know what I'm saying, those colors. Right. The only color that matters is the green. Facts. And, you know what I'm saying, unification. And that's another thing you learn from Nipsey. He said that through unification, you're a lot stronger than when you're divided, and you can do a lot more things being together. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I In terms agree. of focusing on, you know, focusing our financial. energy on the correct, right. on the correct enemy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which and is the financial like institutions and the financial wealth that. that we should have. All that. I agree. All I agree. That. 1, so, so to that, you know, what I'm saying once again, a big loss, and hopefully, a bigger gain. That we gained from his legacy. Right. And, and that we follow in his footsteps. I agree. I agree. Especially in the aspect of positivity. You know. That from every, you know, concrete comes a rose. Or however the yeah. saying goes. And from there, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Especially right, having lost ones. We're going to talk about, you know. We're going to move on from Nipsey. You know, God bless. Uh, it's just, you know. It's, it's a sad thing to talk about. And it's a very sensitive thing to talk about. But we're going to move on to things. But it happened more in current events. Look, this nigga got snacks and shit. You can't prepare for this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hungry. <laughs> but we're going to talk about, actually, what's going on right now. I mean, probably the past couple of days. The richest man in the world. Number one. The, the head honcho. The big uno. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. The man of Amazon. Has just divorced his first wife. His 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 bottom line, his, his his main bitch, whatever you want to call it, just divorced her and gave her didn't didn't settle, really just gave her thirty six billion dollars. Like, duh, I couldn't even fathom the idea when I heard thirty six billion dollars to be given. And I'm not saying to any woman because I do support what women do. Is completely important to the development of all of all life on this earth. I completely agree with that, but I just don't know about thirty six billion. <laughs> Listen, if it was my wife, I would have gave her a lick too. But I don't know about thirty six billion. A billion, you will still be straight. You need thirty six of them, like, bruh, like, you know. I I don't know. I couldn't fathom that even number. I know he gave it to her willingly. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was doing some fuck shit or whatever. But thirty six billion, dog. I don't know, man. I don't know. He only gave it. He, no, he ended up winning that divorce a lot. Oh, of if course. I'm not saying, I think it was that thirty six billion is only a fraction of what it, because it's all in stock. It's all right. in stock options. I believe it was. I think it's four percent or whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, he had, or what? Or I don't remember what it was. I don't right. know. I'm a, I'm a little hungry right now, to say, <laughs> to say the least. But he kept the majority of the stock. He has, you know, veto powers and all that kind of things. He right. controls what she can do with her shares as well. Right. On top of that, all his other business ventures did not get touched at all. Right. He had a very good lawyer that fought that case. But thirty-six billion. That was an expense. Expensive punane. Oh, facts, facts. But and, and I'm not talking about his wife. I'm talking about the the, 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 the bitch he bitch. cheated on with. No, and it's crazy that after that, that was his homeboy's old lady. 
Really? That was his homeboys old lady. Oh, shit. Well, he you on know, that freaking deacon shit, yeah, man. Well, you know, they probably swingers and shit. But you know that actually she only started to file the papers for her divorce only after, after he finalized his divorce of, her, of his wife. So she wasn't even divorced yet from her husband or even putting in the paperwork. She just put the paperwork as his divorce finalized, which I think is some fuck shit. I think it should have been done at the same time. Because, you know, that means you ain't got no real faith, bitch. Like, you just bandwagoning off of what I'm doing. And you now, you, you, not no shade to Meghan Merkel, but now you're the Meghan Merkel of the shit. Like, you coming from nothing and coming to something. You feel me? Like, I, yeah, I, it just, think? it's unfathomable, bro. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, she's I'm, a media newscaster. Like, she fucking does, I think, meteorology or whatever the fuck. Like, she is not worth nowhere near what his ex-wife was worth. But, I mean, I understand. When you're going to get some pussy, you go get some pussy. Whatever it is. If that's your play, that's your play. Now, what if? It's time for conspiracy theory. Now, what if? <laughs> these two, you know what I'm saying, these two women were in cahoots, right? So, he's like, hey, look, Pete, suck my husband's dick so I can finally divorce this weird, creepy motherfucker. He keeps having all the robots look at us when we're having sex. <laughs> He has Alexa the robot. be listening to yeah, us. He got the robots <laughs> masturbating. Alexa just playing very creepy music in the background. I'm tired of this guy. I can't do it anymore. He got a Roomba licking my toes while he fucking me from the back. I don't know what's going on. Now, if I get this divorce, I can guarantee you for playing your part and playing your role, I can give you one Billy. No. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I'm one Billy. Oh, right, a nigga gonna jump for one Billy. But what I'm for saying one is. One Billy? But what I'm you saying is. You tell the female, all you gotta do is suck some dick. You know, man, you know how many hoes I know to suck some dick for free? Oh, right, right, right. But what I'm saying you is. Give these hoes one Billy, they gonna <laughs> spit shine that dick. Right, but. She gonna be looking with like his wife, With his wife, like, no, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Like, if you ain't happy, you ain't happy. You walk away from a bad situation on the best of terms. I understand that. I completely get it. But. She walking away with thirty six billion. Like no, you can't even imagine bigger. getting a billion. Her, her role was bigger than just that. You got to remember, she was the first. You know, she was with him when he was just selling books. Right, right. Out, of, out of a fucking that uh, motherfucker uh, was selling paperbacks. Out of, out of a square you know office, I mean? she was there. Uh, that, she put up the majority of her bread at that time. Right. They both ain't had two. You know, Nothing. I mean, they had more than what motherfuckers got. Right. But you know what I'm saying? In terms of they ain't really have in, a pot to piss she, in. She, after she put the a lot. Fact. She put a lot of the bread up and stuff like that. And she was one of the main. Investors in Amazon as well when he started going bigger than just selling books on it. Oh, right, right, right. So you can say all the time spent and the ideas spent. No, you know, say it ain't no she walking away like, God damn, like we don't know what happened behind the scenes. Oh, we just know him because motherfuckers got mad bread. Right, right, right. And he still got mad bread even though he lost 36 billion of it. But was it really his to lose? You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's like the Kobe situation. It was real simple, dog. I mean, a bit, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The bitch he fucked. She ain't, I mean, she, ain't she, worth, I mean, she better than his wife. But she ain't worth shit. But she better than his wife, and that's the thing. You see, guys, they be like, eh, hey, well, she won't really be too mad at me if I cheat on her with her. She looks very good. <laughs> and guess what happened? She, she was like, damn, man, who knows what insecurity played in or whatever. Or like right, I right. said, they were in cahoots. Nah, 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 I don't think so. I, I mean, it's I, just I, that. I, I, hey, I wouldn't put it past no, anybody. No, 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 because the You're thing is. You're dealing with the $300 billion man. Yeah, but the thing is, is like. You know, if your woman holds you down and all that, like, bruh, at least do your due diligence. If you're going to do some dirt, you know, either let her know, not let her know. You know what I'm saying? However your stilo is. But at least keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You might not be the upfront nigga because you got so much money. You know, love is blind at that point. Like, you can't tell who loves you and who wants you. I completely understand that. But at least keep it real with Shorty. You know what I'm saying? And if you did keep it real with her and you let and you offered her $36 billion, like, I mean, bruh. Like. <laughs> how, how, how much swag you think Bezos got? He ain't got no swag. It's not about the swag. It's, how about, much, it's about the situation nah. you just described. He got to have swag to nah, bring that Because nah, that's like Bill Gates. Bill Gates was like the Zero richest swag. nigga. No, right? But he was the richest nigga for like 30 years. Well, nah, let's, let's, say, let's not say 30. Let's say 20 years. Bill Gates could have fucked anybody. Zero swag. It don't matter about the swag, bro, when the bread is in, is in cahoots, bro. Zero swag. So you telling me Jeff Bezos got swag? The nigga got to be. He got zero swag. That's what I'm, that's what I'm he saying. He got a meteorologist, but a media, but that's what I'm saying. He's he really, got zero swag. But you think this, to fuck up like that, he got. But zero that's what I'm saying. Swag. You think this show he really with him 
for the love. Like, she I mean, really, but you, but you she looking at the bread. You heard how it happened. Apparently, right. it was like another country that like hacked into his phone and spying, and then they tried to like blackmail him. And oh, he said, shit. I don't give a fuck, bro. Come at me, bro. Right. Come I'm at me, bro. I'm the richest nigga in the world, nigga. Come at me, bro. Like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? Come at me, bro. When you're the and richest nigga in the world, him, what do you expect that's going to happen? Like, like that's why, like... It's I mean, ironic because, you know what I'm saying? Like, he runs Amazon, which is the number one company of invading motherfuckers' privacy. Facts. And he got his privacy invaded. Facts. Oh, it happened. Just like Mark Zuckerberg. You know what I'm saying? When he was opening at, uh, Facebook, you know, he fucking literally stole another nigga's idea, which is fine, but he just capitalized on it. It just That's just how business works, bro. I completely understand. But, dog, to, like, really fuck over your main vein, dog, that's, like, literally cutting into your fucking jugular, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was cheaper to keep her. Like, not saying that she's cheap and not uh, worth anything. It was just cheaper to keep her than to just... This guy's stumbling over semantics. Fuck that shit. Bro. Nah, I mean, bro, listen. Hey, dog, you, know what, you know how much money he got? Yeah, but you... 36 billion is cheap to him, dog. Right, right now. That's how disgusting it is. That's how disgusting his money how, is. How I, how I would have pitched it was, look, I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your motherfucking life. And he just... All you got to... No, no, because that money going to run out. Unless no, she goes no. and turns around and backs herself on those finances, which is obviously going to happen. But how can you ever blow through thirty six billion? People blow through lottery winnings all the time. Ain't nobody win thirty six billion. People have won one billion. So what are you telling me? Like Ten, you have to well, understand, a woman. When you get that one billion, oh, oh. off rip, that's five hundred million. Then if you want to not a- anonymity. You losing another couple percent. You ain't yeah, but no you're not gonna have, yeah, but you're, She's getting a clean thirty six billion. Yeah, but you're ain't not gonna, no way you can. If you blow thirty six billion, like you gotta be like when you die, scientists have to do an autopsy on you because even facts. if you smoking crack, facts. you're sniffing coke, you right. you know, say like, you know how much you know how much drugs it takes for you to die. If you got thirty six <laughs> billion dollars in the fund, right, you just walk in the trap and grab whatever you want, but I put it on my tab, right. Facts. I'll see you Man, next week. They're gonna be like, "Yo, this guy has a what the fuck?" <laughs> no, and I, and I hear you, but see, one. but see, I just have a different perspective on it because I'm I'm talking about legacy wealth, bro. Like, but we, but she might not, she might fuck it off, bro. Bro, it's like, like the movie Casino, and I'm not saying that you Jeff Bezos' wife ginger? is not like is is like I'm not saying that Jeff Bezos' wife is like Ginger. All I'm saying is is that this woman might not have the integrity or might not have the discipline. She supported this swaggerless motherfucker when he was selling books yeah, door to bro, door. Bro. He was a door to door salesman. Bro, but she wasn't with Co- it's like Kobe's wife. She wasn't in with the it nigga not, shooting in the gym. Like it ain't like Kobe's Yes, it is. She, you she took- was actually with this nigga shooting in the gym, bro. No, she was not. She did not do every interview, bro. It's like, see, look, and I, I can approve it. Why? Because look at seen. look at Bill Gates. No, but look at Bill Gates' wife. Now, Bill Gates' wife does every interview alongside him. Why? Because he stepped away from Microsoft and is now doing the foundations of the Bill Gates and whatever her well, name that's is. That's another Gates situation. I, yo, I don't respect it. I think it's Melinda. I don't Melinda, respect that Melinda, Melinda or that Bill Gates bullshit because that's a ah. means to, pop, to population control. But that's for another time. Oh, that's a whole other topic. That's no, a now whole you're going topic. on to sign up. So I'm, I need to talk about that. We talk about apples right now. You talk about orange juice. No, 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 no. I'm, like talking, about, I'm talking about superpowers. That she are, was are with more this rich dude and, ah, go ahead. forever. She gave him the cab. So clearly, she had some foresight if she believed in his nah. mother's dream. Nigga, what do you think it is? She was just latching onto a you, dick in a dream. Yeah, you know how many baby mamas are out here supporting niggas' rap career? Like, dog, like fall back. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think that's completely different. Who, no, it's I not. It's the same dog. thing. Whether you're in an office creating a business or on a mic creating a rap career, it's the same fucking thing, bro. Like, like even with this, like if this don't pop, I can't be mad at my girl for leaving me. Like, I completely understand, bitch. You dated a little loser or whatever. If it don't pop, but if it pop now, and I got a couple milli, don't fucking don't flake and don't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like, it come with the territory. That's why, and I was gonna say this earlier. That's why I think. If no matter what situation you in, date within your range. And what I mean by your range is I'm not talking about how fucking good you look. I'm talking about financial statistics, bro. How financially set are you? Because, bro, bro, if you if you had a if you had a hundred million right now, bro, you leaving your girl. 
and 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 no and no shade to your hey, girl because hey, I no, love hey, her. I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. Don't 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 lie to the audience. Like, I ain't got no girl. Right, right, right. My but email what address is. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, <laughs> oh, you can see him at the Inebriated Podcast at Gmail dot com. That ain't no pressure. But what I'm saying is like, like, look, I even told my girl like, and she agrees. Like, we've been on the same page about it. If a Seminole ho come along both our ways, she either sliding or I'm sliding, cause somebody need to go get that check. I mean, it's longevity wealth, bro. It ain't about me. I'm not gonna take it personal, bro. If my girl gets offered by a Seminole nigga, like, yo, come holler at my girl, da da da. She getting ten bands a week. I'm a, I'm a ginger it, bro. I'm a be whatever fuck nigga. Is. I forgot what his name is right now, but I'm a be the other nigga in casino. I'm gonna be getting the check, and I wait. My babies, I can make babies for the rest of my life. I ain't no pressure. But you have to understand, like, when you're in a situation like that, bro, money talk, bro. If, I, if, if my shit don't work out, oh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you really got to date within your financial range, bro. If you dating a millionaire and you a, a, a McDonald's-ass bitch, like, you have to understand your position. You might just be just pretty. Like, and that's, uh, I think that's a woman's biggest fear. Like, no shade to any woman that's out there, you know, working at McDonald's or anything like that. Or if you dating a millionaire nigga and giving up the pussy, no shade to it. Girl, you know, do your thug thizzle. But you got to keep it real when it comes to the aspect of finances. What can you provide that man that he cannot provide himself? And vice versa. Head. What can you provide that woman that he cannot provide himself? Head. Head. Nigga, if Robert Kraft is spending seventy nine ninety nine on two bitches, bruh, bruh, pussy's at an all-time low. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't care what you tell me right now. If if two pussies, not one, if two pussies is worth seven seventy nine ninety nine right now Jeez. at market value, bruh, you're not gonna tell me that a nigga can't afford that, especially a nigga that's working. See, like a street bum, I'm not telling women to go date street bums because that's where that financial uh, ability is. Because even a street bum will cheat on you, and I know niggas high and a niggas low that will cheat on you. But what I'm saying is date within your range, baby. If you if you have fifty thousand, don't go past eighty thousand, cause that nigga is most likely not gonna support you in your endeavors. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many companies and how many businesses you guys have together, and again, this is no shade to anybody that's successful, but you gotta be realistic. What are you offering, man or woman, to your spouse, to your significant other, that they cannot provide themselves? And I think that's what's most important when we're talking about relationships. I mean, that's my opinion. If you don't feel that way. Well, he is, he's a business person. He, he's uh, got age. <laughs> well, if Jeff Bezos got that's age, that's then fuck you, it. That's what you're going to fuck with the street bones they were talking about. No, <laughs> right. They probably got AIDS. But what I'm he's saying is, and no, and no shade to the AIDS community. I mean, fuck it. You got it. You got no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> this sort of shit, you a lot of shade, bro. <laughs> no, because. Get it, no, get out of here. No, this no, sort no, of shit, you can no, shame, no, dog. No, 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 no. I don't want no, no AIDS. I, gotta, no, I, I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to be on a motherfucking blood drive and I see a motherfucker with AIDS next to me. No, and I agree, but. No, I, this no, sort of shit, you got to But I got to stop you because I've had, a, I've, I've had a passing in my family. You've had AIDS before? No, not me. No, 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 I've no, had a passing in my family that had HIV. No, no, no. Same here. Same here. Right, so I completely understand what happens but do i condone it of course not but if it happens it happens ain't nothing you could do about it you know what i'm saying i know bitches that probably you know fucked or cheated on one nigga and caught a std for the rest of their life and niggas i see niggas yeah that, but yeah but yeah, there's a difference to a bitch say oh i got i got a little shave bumps uh, you know saying nah, compared bro, to I'm, i got i got that i got nah, that magic job. i ain't talking about no no clap i'm talking about no some little shit but little herbs nah herps. nigga i'm that bitch got a little herbs nigga her, there's, dog. there's she can there's, still suck dick nah bro there's super gonorrhea there's gonorrhea like super gonorrhea? yes the i'm not shit? making this up you got to look this up you can look this up on your phone right no, now yeah, no, yeah, there's super gonorrhea that, that you can't get rid of regular gonorrhea at this point you can get rid of i think i i, I don't Reg quote I, me on I, that regular gonorrhea don't even exist no more None of the damage that they're, okay. they're all like super. No, like okay, if they're, they're dirty, super if, you, if you're a dirty whore, that's super levels. Okay, there are super levels. If you're now. a dirty whore, I want to say. Right. But we if can't blame it only popping, on the women. You got to no. blame it on the men too. Yeah, a dirty whore. What? Dirty? You see, you see how sexist you is? A dirty whore don't mean I'm blaming it just on women. I agree. You, right. you are a dirty whore, my friend. All right. Newsflash. I guess you never heard it before. What? What? Yeah. I mean, not no more. So you know, you <laughs> might cut. But you know what I'm saying? But. If you out here, there's a I know a couple I know a couple hoes 
You know what I'm saying? And they usually third world country hoes. It's all good because you know I just became a citizen, baby. But I know a couple hoes, they coming out of this motherfucker, they popping penicillin like a Percocet. Mm. If you know what I'm saying. Mm. That pussy, yeah, ooh, that shit burning. And guess what? That shit yeasty. You walk in the bedroom, it look like you walked in a bakery in that motherfucker. Nah, so much flour and yeast and oh my. Uh. Can't do that. But it happens. But you pop it up there like that, then you get the super. No, that's why I've never been a fan. And to this day, I do not use hand sanitizer. Because when you read the label to hand sanitizer, it tells you. Trichoglyceride. I have no idea what the fuck you talk about. It says kills 99.9%. What the fuck you think that 0.1% is doing? They're getting stronger. They're super, becoming. Yeah. You feel me? They're getting resistant to right. the ant. Anti material. So next thing you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You touch sun, you touch a regular surface, your finger gonna fall off because they got super germs because you use a hand sanitizer. That's like your dick gonna fall off stories. Like every nigga done heard the dick gonna fall off stories. Know, hey, hey, go, hey. And I ain't never met a nigga that had his dick fall off yet. I so know, <laughs> hey, go on Google Images. I oh, bet you right, right. Up. Oh, fact. And that's what I'm sorry. That's why our, our great great grandfather be, be, be scared, motherfucker, from. Right, and this tell us our dick gonna fall off. This was passed down from generations Generation to, to generations. generations. <laughs> as soon as you fuck a bitch wrong, you think you're a mistake, you take a piss and you wipe your dick down with a freshly cut lemon and you, and you do your thing. Hey, you and if to... you're a real motherfucker, you open the head of that dick and then you pour some oh. lemon juice in it and then you piss it right back Were out. you really trying to burn yourself? If it, if it burns, you gotta... That's wait, wait, the story I was back told day, by my wait, wait. ancestors. By my ancestors. That's real island shit. Like, if you... You gotta by be from the ancestors. island to know that this shit actually happens. But besides that, like, okay, so in conclusion, I just want to say... Listen, I am not knocking anybody's situation as far as them having a lovely relationship or going through a divorce. I completely understand. Sometimes it just don't work. But I cannot say that this woman, even though she supported him, even though she, she wrote or die, $36 billion, bruh, yes, he's going to make more money and whatever. If that's the case, then all right, I can, I can, I can live with that. But let's say no, no. Thing. There's no sexism about it. It's sexism. it's literally what are you valued at? And I'm not saying that women are 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 pointless, valueless. I'm not saying any of that. That's I'm just saying, saying that what what is your contribution worth? Exactly you know what I'm saying? What if I can buy out your stock, which is literally what he did on a nice scale where it looks publicly fine. What is your value? Maybe not to the company, but to the individual. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that she's not worth anything, but $36 billion, bro. You got to put a pause on that, bro. $36 billion. Yes, she will live the rest of her life comfortable. Maybe that's a comfortable number for her. I understand. No, she only left with 4% of the stock. It's a public traded company, bro. Even if he has 51, there's other people on the board. Doesn't matter. It's only four percent, and you think right. he's still getting robbed? He gave her four percent. I'm not, and and, and, it's I, not, and no, I never it's brought not up her robbery. Fault. It ain't her fault that four percent is thirty-six million. Right. He right, gave her four percent. Right. More than likely, like who who knows how he came up with that number? But it was a it was a it was a good number for both parties because guess what? They went they they separated they happily. Did, they did it. She's yeah. happy. He's happy. And none of his other business ventures got touched. Oh, right, right. Which that's what I'm saying. It's a Straight harm up. it's a harmless divorce, which I am very happy for. It was successful. You know, they did it as adults, not greedy, conniving, you know, heathens, you know, him or her, to where they try to take everything. I completely understand that. I wish for anybody's divorce to go that way. I would I hope that nobody divorces, you know, if you can stay happy, stay happy. But I'm just saying, bro, be more realistic. On what your worth is. And I'm not saying that this woman was not worth $36 billion. But as a divorce, I don't think it was worth $36 billion. Because if you're willing to leave... Like, see, you have to understand. The business of divorce, there's a proposal. Like, I come and bring you or you come and bring me papers. Then I have to either agree or disagree or we go into litigation. After litigation and mediation, then you come to a conclusion... Of what you decide to walk away with. What you're going to take. What you're going to give. Everybody has to sacrifice. And if she was willing to sacrifice on that. You know what then. Hey. All salute to you baby. You know I hope your 36 billion lasts you generations. But. I know for a fact. That. 
legacy wealth is not worth that way. Just because you got $36 billion does not mean that you're going to last. Your generations, your kids' kids, or your kids' kids' kids, they're not going to last, bro. Especially how society's going right now because of how they got to maintain and how they got to go to school. Bro, their school tuitions are probably hundred grand a piece. A piece. And what, I think he got like two kids or three kids with, with this woman. A hundred grand a piece. Plus whatever else. Like she's going to have to be the a new financial when it comes to business oppositions and, and uh, uh, business opportunities, I mean. And hopefully she makes the right decision, bro. I, and I'm not saying women can't make these decisions on their own. They perfectly can. There's a lot of, there's a lot of successful female businesses. I just don't know if she's capable of doing that. She wasn't in the gym every day, bro. All she I wasn't do, in the gym. All I had to do was give you the shovel. You made sure you dug your own grave. Oh, I'll dig my own grave, bro. Because any woman, yeah, any woman can come at me about this. And I look. Write into the inebriated podcast at gmail.com. I will write back. No problem. It's perfectly fine. I, I could take the I could take the slack. I, I'm cool. I'm just saying. Right, right, right. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that, you know, I don't think that she's capable. Not as a woman. I'm just saying as a financial institution, I don't think that she's capable of handling 36 billion. I'm not saying that she can't. I just don't think that she's capable. You know what I'm saying? Just like, listen, we can have a female president. Doesn't mean that she's going to clear the deficit of whatever trillion dollars that we're in just because she's president. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about right now, though. It's all right. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Gonna, I'll dig my own grave on that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I was raised by a woman and bathed by a woman, all that. But, you know what I'm saying? I just don't think that we're at that point where women are going to supersede men in business. And I'm talking about big business. Not like your little mom and pop shop. Look, I get it. But I'm talking about big business. Listen, there are some big head honchos there, but they're not the biggest in their field. When it becomes the biggest in their field, like on some Oprah shit, all right, I'll give it to you. But even Oprah, look, she just fucked up. And I mean, we're going we're gonna to talk about this on another day, but she just fucked up on the Leaving Neverland. She just fucked up. So... I'm just mentioning this because, okay, bet. Shit, we got some fruit. Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's your fruity yeah. ass. In a, in a, in a, in a intermission time. And this motherfucker's on one of those rants. Oh, I was going. I was going. Salud, salud. This right here is all natural, all organic chinola. Better known in the United States of America as passion fruit. And just do it all down? This, motherf- this motherfucker never had nothing before. Yeah, all that little black shit. Because if you look at it, it looks a little bit like mucus. the, the Like a yellowish mucus. Now, the black the camera, things inside of it are the seeds themselves. If you want, you can spit one seed out. Knowing your ass, you probably like to swallow the seeds. <laughs> stupid. But you can always take a seed. <laughs> you can always take a seed. You know, you plant it. And it's a vine. It's not actually a tree. It's a vine that grows very nice. But the real fruit itself has like a tart. It's like a sweet, you know what I'm saying? Like a sweet tart. Yeah, like a, like a sour. It's, it literally just tastes like a sour patch. A sour patch cake, honestly. Mm. But it's delicious because if you drink, if you eat it fast enough, you can like taste the juice that comes out of it. Oh, no, no. It was good. But it this was is good. all organic. It's all natural. Straight from your boy, J-Dot's Garden. No, no. It was right. good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, introducing us to that. No, I really do appreciate it. It was delicious. Now we're going to move on, and I understand, listen, whatever y'all do, just, I don't know if it's worth $36 billion, bro. <laughs> That's my whole point. But to move on from that, move on from that, what we have right here in Miami, we have Dwayne Wade, the one and only. He's just leaving Miami, last game last night. It was beautiful. It was historic. You know, number three, he really brought that energy to Miami, man. There's... There's nothing more I can say about this man. I mean, uh, Zay, what's your, what's your, what's your point? What's your what's your view on it? Like, I mean, like, what can like you, it's, it's what a can sad you say day. About him? It's what, a sad what day. What can you say about him? He's a class act. You know what I'm saying? Thirteen time All Star. You know what I'm hey. saying? You talking about a three time champ? 2006 NBA Finals MVP. You talk about you know saying the scoring champ. Scoring 30.9 points per game. 
You talk about the guy that was the leading scorer of the 2008 Redeem team when we finally got that gold that we've been deserved. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. This guy was a was a great was a great player. It was a great person, you know what I'm saying? Like, he represented Miami, you know what I'm saying, with straight pride. On top of that, he represented it with straight class as well. And I agree. he's one of them few, one of them few athletes also that were complete superstars. And that's what makes me sadder is knowing the fact that... It's over. It, it's over, Miami. It's over down south in Florida. That's it. We don't have nobody else. For right now. We don't got nobody else. Who do we got? No, for right now. Who do we got? Listen. We ha- we no longer have a superstar on that level. We oh, don't I have agree. anybody that caliber. Who do we got? Literally, our number two, our runner-up, was Ryan Tannehill. He don't even play him. He <laughs> don't even play him. And that was our runner-up. Right, you go going and, on football. And, yeah, don't we talk about we have Sports. no okay. star. We have okay. no star. In Miami. Right. What star we got? What star we got? I hate him. What's your name? A Florida Panthers player? Because right. guess what? I don't know him. Right, right. Well, and shout, out, and shout out to the Florida Panthers. I need to yeah. go to one of y'all games. But I don't know y'all. <laughs> I don't know y'all. But. Don't nobody know y'all. Don't nobody know y'all. But, don't but, nobody. You can, walk, you can be right next to me at the A-Rab store, man. And guess what? Ain't nobody going to even say shit. And that's actually might be very good. It's a pros and cons. However, pros and cons. It ain't good for the city. And you know Dwayne Wade will be missed, man. You oh know yeah. What I'm what, you know what, what can I say, man? I mean, he he he, he literally brought an energy, especially not even being from here. Like, I, look, Alonzo Mourning was our last, you know, our, our 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 brethren, our our son, our kid, our 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 gentleman for South Florida for a long time. You know what I'm saying? It's been Zo Nation for a long time, and with indoctrinating Wade into our community, I mean, it's. Dade County been Wade County. I completely remember. You know what I'm saying? There's been, thir- like you said, 13 strong years, 15 strong years of this man playing in South Florida that, you know, I, I can't take back. It was beautiful. You feel me? And the man brought a a certain panache, let me say, to South Florida where there was no scandals. There was no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He dated Gabrielle Union, which is a fine sister, bro. You made a well right decision. On that, on that circumstance, you know what I'm saying, but it, you know, what what Dwayne Wade did for the city, you know what I'm saying, and I and I personally met him actually. I met him at one of these. Uh, what Miami Heat does every year is they do a family event, and I personally met, you know, uh, after their championship. Actually, I met, you know, Chris Anderson. I met Dwayne Wade. I met LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen, Mike Bibby. You know what I'm saying. I met all those guys. You know, they mad cool. They mad. Squ- suave about their whole thing it's just that you know it's a a sad thing to see that pat riley didn't want to give him his just dues to stay here in miami so we had to go to chicago for a year just to prove to motherfuckers that he still got it and then came back to miami to seal the deal like i understand what he had to do what he had to do whatever but still like you know it's miami bro it's 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 if it's day county it's wade county man you got to keep it real I understand, and, and and no shade to Pat Riley, bro. I understand. You gotta make your deals, bro. You you seen you seen the future, and the future just didn't pan out for you. What what's your position on that? My position on what? On Dwayne Wade, nigga, on his retirement. Cause this is it. Last game last night. That's it. That's over. He's out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm saying this in a good way. It's just that he's retiring. It's over. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, how are we going to use this energy now? You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, who are we looking forward to as the next superstar? Because I don't see any. We, yo, we ain't, got, we ain't got no next superstar, man. I've been said that. I'm on the same rant. You on the same page? I'm on the same rant. I ain't on the same page as you. No, 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 no. no <laughs> okay, no, maybe I don't, you don't, don't think Gabriel Union's cute, but all right, whatever. <clears throat> That's a whole other right. story, man. All right, that's cool. But no, 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 like I said, man, he was a class act. You know what I'm saying? Real great guy. You know what I mean? I don't agree with his parenting style, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't condone. Like, and so we had a new event this week, upcoming weekend. Come Sunday, I believe. We got Game of Thrones, baby. Game of Thrones is happening this weekend. I'm, I'm hype. I'm hype. I can't wait. You know, Jon Snow got him some pussy last episode. 
And, you know, here comes Daenerys. He was fucking his auntie or whatever you want to call it. But, but fuck it. You know, it's going to be a major event. The biggest, you know, actually Game of Thrones is the biggest televised program to be uh, on, I think, uh, the Nielsen family uh, reviews or whatever. Like, it's the most viewed TV show in the world, basically. And HBO, you know, they really locked in on that one. And they didn't even know that it was going to work. Like, literally, the whole Game of Thrones show, if you watch it, you know, bit by bit, not every actor stayed. Because they were like, ah, I might have a better opportunity over here or over there. But actually, you fucked up. Because Game of Thrones is the biggest thing in the world right now. Every episode, the budget is a million dollars. That's most movie production budgets. And even less than that, probably. Like, blockbusters obviously could be... Uh, Upwards of the hundred million, but Game of Thrones, bro, it's a million dollars an episode. And you talk about eight, nine, twelve episodes a season. Yeah. This one might be seven, but fuck it. Like, you know, it's it, it's it's positive energy. I mean, this this thing Game of Thrones has done, and this community of of energy, like, it just. I mean, I'm I'm flabbergasted by it. I love Game of Thrones. Everybody should go check it out. And this is not a sponsored. Shout out, it literally, just one of my favorite shows. I mean, the energy that they bring is just, it, it, it's unexplainable. But, I don't see that much, I mean, are you a fan? How do you feel about Game of Thrones? I've, I've never even watched one episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, you fucking up, my nigga, you fucking up, you fucking up. Uh-huh. You gotta get into Game of Thrones, bro. I mean, listen, yeah, you might not like this. So man. You might not. And I don't intend to, man. You might not like. I want to look at that dragons flying around, man. No, bro, dragons don't even come into play until like season three, bro. Guess what, man? I don't want to see it. All right, all right. I mean, I just like the aspect of like every episode, somebody's getting murdered. Like the the main character you thought that was gonna hold on till the end of his days, probably gonna get murdered. Even Jon Snow technically got murdered. Like even though he's alive right now. He technically got murked. And I know you don't know who I'm talking I about. I lost. Right, right. But go watch the show. Go watch the show. You know, especially like since it's the most successful show on TV. Like I wanted to bring up this one aspect because of how entertainment and how as viewers that you guys are and as as am I, how we are receiving information about the tech, this, tech, this new technological era with Netflix, YouTube, uh, whatever you watch. Tubi, Voodoo, uh, on your Roku, you know, Chromecast, whatever. Like, this new wave of how we're absorbing entertainment is just, it's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Like, HBO has HBO Go, where you literally, you go watch whatever episode, mobile, on your phone. You know, Stars has it, Showtime has it, I understand that. But what you have to understand, it's revolutionary. Like, I come from the generation where... You know, you had the, the black cable box with the, the scrambler on top of that motherfucker. That. And you literally, you know what I'm saying, try that. to try to fight a way to get cable. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about no Game of Thrones. I can talk about illegal cable box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not relevant anymore. I mean, there's new yeah. ways of streaming yeah, your, yeah. your entertainment. I, I pay, yeah, I, I pay for all my services. There you go. Allegedly. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it's just fascinating that how far we've come as far as our entertainment like like literally like i do this off the strength like me and my dog here we're literally doing this off the strength i don't get any funding from this i'm not sponsored by anybody as of yet like this is literally off the cuff that i just want to bring to your attention honestly like this has nothing to do with anything but you know giving y'all conversation and giving y'all a good time because that's all that's all it really is if it was anything else, believe me, I would let y'all know that, hey, this is a sponsored by or, hey, this is for something, you know, or a cause. If any, if there's any cause out there that needs support, that needs help, you know what I'm saying, contact us at the inebriated podcast at gmail.com. And I'm more than willing, you know what I'm saying, to discuss what we can do to support your cause, you feel me? As long as it's a positive cause. If you got a negative cause... I can't help you, bro. <laughs> I can't help. I mean, it depends how negative it is. No, nah, I got to be completely negative. Like, like I, I, I can't even describe what I would just turn down. But definitely you'll get a turn down if you're on some fuck shit. And so, with Game of Thrones, obviously, okay, that wasn't your that's Stilo. But 
we got also right now you wanted to bring up and we discussed this a little bit earlier but we're gonna give a follow through of what we previously discussed like you got you i see you got some major beef with I forgot what her name is. Alessandra or Alejandra or Alexandria uh, something Cortez. Like Ocasio-Cortez. Like you really got some major beef with this woman. And I, I, I don't see. It. I mean, she's a Democrat. She is going for, you know, presidency or, or any type of public office. So I, <laughs> I hear you. But I just don't know your. I just don't know your dynamic. I don't see. I don't see the play. You know what I'm saying. And I understand that you know she's new, and up and coming. She probably doesn't have m- much time in her public office position. But you know she's going for a Democrat. We have a problem with a Republican right now. So what's your views on this one Democrat? Which is okay. Nah, yeah, she's just a clown. You know what I'm saying. Really. She's just a clown, dog. Pitch it. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what it is. It's, you know, it, what she says sounds, you know, it sounds sweet. You know, if you're in elementary school and shit, oh, everybody should get her, everybody should get her. Wow. You know, to me, you know, it is what it is, man. And that's me coming as a registered Democrat and all that stuff. All right. Because. Spit it. Give it, give it to me raw. Give it to me raw. What, no, what that's it? what it's coming no, down to. You know, I, like, we, we, ain't out here, we ain't out here asking for handouts and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're trying to get people to cousin to. Oh, you're going to just get this. You're going to just get this. It's going to be free, sh- free shit for everybody. Everybody going to get free shit. Nah, no. You can't get, just get free and shit. Pay, ain't, ain't, ain't no such thing as a free lunch. That's the saying that's been going on forever, yeah. dog. You know what I'm saying? So between that and her, you know what I'm saying, her little pandering that she does, you know, she speaks one way in front of a certain group of people and another way in front of another. Okay. There's just a lot of shit that's going on to make it thing like, you know what, man? Enough of the games and the jokes. Like, what are actual policies that are trying to be enacted and shit like that? Because you're telling me about all this free money, but then you're telling me it's causing a couple trilly. Couple truly, right. you over here, cause like you, you should be the number one up, up against shit like this, because you over here against a woman who earned and deserves probably even more than what she got in her thirty six billion, and you complained about it. Then we got this motherfucker coming over here telling us, you know, saying, "Oh no, you deserve all this money. It's only gonna cost us a couple truly." Right. If you right. complain about somebody who deserved it, getting goddamn. Thirty six billion. You better be complaining about motherfucker that just begging for change, man. Oh, facts, facts. You can't and, beg for change, and, and that's man. why I wanted your opinion you on it. You can't because... beg for change, and you can't beg for anything in life. But right, nothing comes to the beggar, dog. Everybody knows that to the victor goes the spoils. Spoils, right? And that goes in everything in life, dog. You ain't gonna beg. You ain't gonna beg. You ain't gonna beg me to stop whooping your ass. I'm gonna stop whooping your ass when, when you I'm tell finished. me. No, no, I'm gonna stop whooping your ass when you make me stop whooping your ass. Nah, I'm gonna stop whooping your ass when I'm finished. <laughs> no, exactly. But you don't determine when I finish. Right, right, right. And right. so that means it's gonna be until you whoop me. All right. All you right. see what That's I'm saying? That's one way to look at it. That's one way to look at it. That's the I mean, way to look at no, it. Because you see it in the animal kingdom. So what are we? Not animals? No, but some people look what at it. What are we? Not um, animals? I, ha- I have to give an, op- uh, an opinion that some people look at it as bullying. And I'm not saying that bullying isn't necessary. Bullying Man, is necessary to a certain degree. That animal kingdom, bro. Right. I don't want to hear this shit. Yeah, we well, became too. We became so smart that we, like, that's the reason we got so much like, retarded motherfuckers. And shit, like, I don't mean retarded as in, like, you know, saying you mentally retarded. I mean retarded as in, like, you on some dumb shit. <laughs> like you on that faggot shit, but I don't mean faggot as gay. I mean faggot as like man, that's some gay ass shit. Why? But I don't mean gay as in homosexual. You, I mean gay boy, as in some bullshit. You going in? All right. You feel me? But explain. Fully explain. But that's how it. That, but that how it come across, and that's how you have to let them know. Like now, nah, hold on, bro. This means this, and this means that. Like you can't be for the culture and be about this, this, and that. And they get mad when we saying that shit and want to try to appropriate some outrage on the motherfucker because they're, they're like, yo, you know when I say man, that's a faggot ass shit, I ain't talking about you just because you sucking some dick. I don't give a fuck what you do behind a closed okay. door or whatever, whatever. Nobody cares what you do whack. behind. I mean, whack is and not really which part is, of... Which is what I just explained previously. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I have to let and the viewers know we, that, that whack, I, I mean, I hope whack is not know. part of our daily uh, terminology. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not part of our... I forgot what the fuck the word's called. Our dictionary, basically. Our, it's Insta- not in our lexicon. Lexicon, there we go. It's not in our yeah, lexicon in here in South Florida. You know really what we say about lexicon? We don't, we don't really say whack, OG but, but we, we have to go that route. Got that so. fruity pebbles is fuego, too. 
<laughs> and some shit last week called Orange Sherbert. Sherbert, that, yeah, yeah. But that's for another. That's for another. Episode. That's for a whole another episode. So no, you know, it's just a pattern on that shit. Like whatever. You just feel that she's pandering to a certain audience. That she's is- pandering to every single audience that she comes across. Okay, and that's what she's doing. That's okay. what she's doing. She ain't showing no real game plan or none. And you gotta, you gotta stay for something, man. Well, remember, she gotta pass the preliminaries. Like a lot of these guys and gals yeah, I mean, are not gonna probably point. pass these preliminaries. Like, okay. I mean, Bernie already ran last year, and we knew we should have went with him. You know, he's bro, obviously. She, she ain't, bro, she. He's she gonna make the trying, finals. I don't know about everybody she else. She ain't trying to be president, bro. Like, I don't even know what you're no, talking No, she's trying to be president. What are you no, talking about? No, not right now. Well, she's trying to she get a public office be. position. But she already got a public office position in New York. I'm talking about a major public office Nick, position. Nigga, what, what you mean? Senators and House representatives. Bro, bro. she in Congress, motherfucker. Okay, so or what do you Senate. think, so what do you think what she's she doing? She's doing nothing? Yes. <laughs> all right. All yes. All right. Thank you. We'll finally agree on something. So you don't think she's doing nothing? one day. I don't give a fuck what she doing one day. I'm talking about what she doing today, and she's spewing bullshit. She's spewing okay. bullshit. So you think if you want to get online, if you, everybody want to get online because everybody, everybody just filled with such fake outrage. You're looking at the next thing to be offended by. Hey. You go online and you look for a reason to get upset. Hey, Trump. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm trying to no, tell you what it don't is. Don't get on no fake news right nah, now. Nah, I'm bro. telling you some real <laughs> motherfucking news because you're yeah, a motherfucker. You out here the way I'm out here. Go ahead. You see what I'm saying? So you already see what happens in real life. What goes on online ain't real life. At all. Because if that shit happened in real life, somebody leaving with, with a fractured jaw and shit, you know what I'm saying, a couple right. fractured ribs and shit. Because people talk very disrespectful on the internet. Right. And that's the situation where you got to lay it down on, man. That's where you got to lay the law down and be like, yo, hold on. What the fuck is really going on? It's straight fake outrage that's going on in this country, man. No, I agree. And I not agree. even in this country. Every, everywhere in the world is just fake outrage. Ah, uh, no, to an extent. So, so where the fuck? Well, I'm talking about my world, motherfucker. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. but you see what I'm saying? Like, like, when are you going to start being responsible to hold everybody accountable for the exact same things? Yeah, but when because you're, a, you're, when you don't get offended. Because in this world... And nah, you don't get offended. You. you don't get offended when a motherfucker. Nah, nah. Oh, you don't I, get offended I, when a motherfucker says something offensive as long as you with him. And that's you the can. whole. That, that the, pan, that, the pandering that's going on right now is disgusting. And so it's like you got to nip yes, that shit in the bud. You got to nip it in the bud. Yes, motherfuckers ain't motherfuckers. We ain't walking stereotypes or nothing like that. I agree. We come in all different shapes and sizes. You know what I'm saying? Shades and creeds, religions yes. and all that I stuff. I agree, yeah. And we, like, you know, ain't just, nobody a mind to live. It's just like Creflo Dollar asking for a, 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 a Learjet. It's way different. Way well, different. No, no, no. Well, to an extent because now way you're different. just pandering he's to he's promising your, you salvation. Yeah, well, a little but different. that's pandering but that's to your audience. You know, that's what it means. You know what I'm saying? She probably she's offering you, you an hour. Right, and, and that's what I'm saying. But see, what I try to go is with the progressive aspect in which she might be offering you $15 an hour, which may or may not happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Oh, no, no, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right, but... But, but it's going to be one motherfucker working and 17 robots in that bitch. Oh, facts. And that's what you get. But you you learn a fucking skill, you fucking bums. And that's the problem that's right. going on right, right now. Motherfuckers is fucking bums right. and they don't want to work. They don't want to work. No, but that... But Motherfuckers that, don't got no skills. But Motherfuckers I, don't want to work. No, no, but that's not also what it is because... That's what it is. No, no, it's no. It's a no. lot of fat... Okay, there's a lot of whack niggas of, or women, people. There's, there's a lot, a lot of... There's a lot people. of motherfucking losers walking around with... You know what I'm saying? With, with the sociology of vaginal clitoris stimulation <laughs> degrees walking around and wondering why they can't get a job. Motherfucker, shut the fuck up. You don't know no tangible skills, man. You don't know no tangible skills. Right. And this is what happens. But the skill- this is what happens when you give no, up see, to, the, to, the, to the insane. No, but there's an abuse of That's what's what happening happens. right now in the, in the trade industry as far as... Uh, receiving education and certifications because everything's so regulated now that, yeah, you do have to receive a certification for a certain craft or profession. I completely agree with that. But what these schools are taking out, making these students take out thirty, forty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 loans on, let's say, a sonogram uh, certification, bruh, you're abusing the craft. Like, literally, I see people, and these are my peers, I see my peers going through these uh, trade technical studies, receiving a certification, and not even knowing or having the uh, ass- the assertive knowledge 
to even further into their field. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you're literally funneling these people uh, at a rate to where they're losing and having a lack of knowledge of the actual craft. Like, and I'm not saying this for every skill and trade. I'm just saying for the ones that I have uh, come across. Like, like, for instance, bro. Like, no disrespect to any craft out there. But, let's say, uh, fuck. Okay, a forklift driver, right? Forklift needs an OSHA certification. I completely understand why they need it. But, you could have a fucking crackhead have a forklift certification and he's going to have that job. It's like, bro, you can't be high on the job. And yes, there are uh, drug testing jobs. But are you gonna tell me that all these drug, all these jobs are drug testing when these guys are doing good jobs? No, they're only drug testing when they fuck up. And yes, they will eventually fuck up. But how about if that fuck up takes five years? How about if that fuck up takes ten years? And it's the biggest fuck up. It knocks down your whole warehouse because he was just on 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 something. I don't. I may not be. Maybe cocaine. I maybe. N- I have no heroin. idea what this had anything to do. As far as skills, I'm saying. As far as skill and trade. And where we're going as far as the education and what we call lazy people, it's like, yeah, there's going to be lazy people if you're going to abuse the economy. Dog, everybody motherfucking, dog, don't nobody want to work for work, dog. Don't nobody want to work. Motherfucker want to sit in the office. No, to what extent. Come on, dog, the same shit with this this wage and equality and all that bullshit. No, to what extent. No, that's abuse. Women earn, women. Okay, well, yo, you know how many bitches I've seen in the goddamn union, motherfucker, only see one, and it was a transsexual. It was a dude, it was a dude that (laughs) became a bitch. Right. So it's a female. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't know, and don't nobody in construction ever disrespect this, the, the, that, that motherfucker, man, because we knew him back when he was a him. Right, but... But guess what? We call him by his girl name now because right. that's what he prefer to be called. Right. And everybody fuck with him and all that shit. Ain't nobody being the mother like that because people think, like, oh, because you're working in a skilled labor, you know, you are uncouthed. You are uncultured. You are right. this and that. No, 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 no. We do uh, all that shit. All, all that shit exists in this world, but at the end of the day, labor is labor. Right. At the end of the day... All these motherfuckers are, are clamoring to, to, to flip a burger at McDonald's and get paid $15,000 right, an hour. Right. You do not deserve $15,000 at McDonald's. You if don't. you're the only you know, one you know, there, you know, yes. No, no, no. You, I'm no, saying if you there's don't. robots no, you around don't. you, you're I'm the only sorry, one left. Dog. Yeah. I'm sorry, dog. The failures and the choices you made in life determine the fact that you work at McDonald's at 45 with three kids. I'm right. saying, it sounds harsh, right. but it's also true, it dog. Is, it is true. It is it what is it is, true. dog. What you want? Everybody to pat you on your no, back no, and be no. like, you get a participated trophy no, 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 in no. life. No, no, and I, in I, life. And, and, and no, and I don't. In life. <laughs> and I don't. And I don't. No, uh, dog. Concur. That's why we got all these bullshit that I'm talking about. Right. Because we breed it with the motherfucker. Dog, Animal Kingdom, what you think gonna happen, dog? Man, you suffocate a motherfucker, dog. Off rib, dog. You just snap a motherfucker. Survival of the fittest, right. It right. Ain't, what it is. ain't no more fit going around. That's why okay. we got a whole bunch of fat ass, ugly motherfuckers okay. having fat ass, ugly ass motherfucking bitch. So, how do you and feel? And what you gonna do okay. about it? So, Can't do nothing. And so you're. Because now we be becoming, you know what I'm saying? To your point. Uh, to your yeah, point, because if you're gonna go Survival of the fittest, you can't just talk about the week. You have to talk about the. Uh, the, the, the people that can't even do for themselves. How do you feel about those that abuse the handicap system as far as they're so disabled or they consider themselves so disabled? I'm not saying to the quadriplegics and the paraplegic, but the people that, oh, I have PTSD. I have schizophrenia and bipolarism. And now I receive a check every week from the government. That's where I lead the conversation. Cause I got a handicap logo on my wit. <laughs> go. But that's what I'm saying. You can't. Go. You can't uh, swing one way of the conversation, conversation, and not appease the other. Because there are people that are that are actually out here with life-threatening diseases, uh, life, uh, life debilitations, where they're really disabled to the point of where they cannot have themselves they cannot appease themselves this motherfucker is gonna fuck up all the film no i'm not <laughs> no because i'm not there so i, I put the in honor of nipsey i put the 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 victory the victory lap all right oh, if on, that's what you want to call there we go I, uh, you know i gotta keep all this in right <laughs> uh, there we go. but um 
like sometimes people abuse and that, and that's as society and especially as Americans we abuse certain cultures so yeah you might call one aspect of society lazy but what do you call the ones that are abusing these uh, availabilities as such as you know abusing medical aid as far as not just in the hospital but disability aid where they're not going to work because oh I have schizophrenia or oh I have bipolar disorder oh I need to be medicated for my PTSD. I'm not saying that PTSD isn't a real thing. I am saying that there are some people that don't have PTSD that say they have PTSD or super anxiety that don't exactly need to be at home collecting a check. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that these that certain cases do need medical help. I am saying that some cases are unnecessary in the medical attention that they are being provided for like that's what i'm saying like you, i know you're saying that everybody's lazy and everybody don't want to do anything but if you give there has to be opportunity for people to do anything you have to have opportunity if you don't have opportunity you don't have anything bro you know what i'm saying like and i definitely would say like anybody that got a little bit of chump change of money bro hey go into real estate bro like quick and with the hurry you can make money anywhere with real estate you can take that bitch anywhere like you gotta no avenues and alleyways to make money. Like, if you're in a fucking a metropolitan city, bruh, and you ain't got no fucking job, go to your nearest stagehand company, bruh. They will hire you on the fucking spot. Why they would, need why would it do That's physical labor. Why would it do it? Because they Motherfuckers need, don't want to do no, it. That's, that's false, bro. That's a, fa that's a false it. equivalency, bro. What you, you think mean? that motherfuckers that don't want a job. Like, motherfuckers do want a job. And I can understand that because I've been in a predicament where I was I went on 100 interviews and was denied all. And not because of how I look. Maybe there was just a discrepancy that I did not qualify for. I'm not going to blame the, the industry or anything like that. I'm going to put it on... Just on my experience. But I would definitely say that anybody that ain't got a job right now, bro, you do not have a job. You're 18. You just graduated high school. You have no fucking skills. Technically, in the corporate world, go to your nearest stagehand company, bro. Type in stagehand on Google. Go stagehands near me and... Go to that company. No, honestly. Advertise. No, honestly. Bro, no, I'm not giving away one specific company. No, I'm saying you're a walking advertiser. No, bro, because, bro, you, you bro. have to understand, I was, bro, when I was 18, I was so fucking lost. Like, I thought I was going to get a, a job at Bank of America or some simple shit like that. We're like, what are you doing? All you're doing all day is fucking counting money or some dumb shit or even at a register, like, on some regular shit. Like, maybe not Walmart or Kmart or, or McDonald's, but I was trying to... Sh you know, stretch for something higher. And maybe I didn't get it. All right, I understand that. Maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe it wasn't my time. Whatever the case may be. You know, you got a cousin or whatever that plugged you in. Whatever. But I'm telling for the for the dudes and the girls, even women, if y'all ain't got a job and you don't want to sell no pussy, I would say your best option is to locate your nearest stagehand company. They are all over the country. They have unions. They have 401k plans. They will take care of you, bruh. Just go to your nearest stagehand company. I can't tell you which one because they don't pay me enough to do that. But go to your local nearest stagehand company and you will find work. You will have a job. You will no, be paying no. taxes to get a tax return. That's all I'm saying. I, I, you got you, to say more. Right, but well, you won't have a solution. No, like, you gotta say more. What? Well, I gotta say less. Like, your disclaimer. I, I, your disclaimer. I gave him. The Don't answer. apply if you're scared of fucking heights. No, no, certain no, that's nah, certain position. No, that's certain position. It don't no, matter. No, you got you got no, but you got to let it know. No, that's ground. But floor. not everybody gonna be on the ground floor. Right, right. But no, that's you ground. Let there's know. Don't people. apply if you're scared of, of falling to your death. <laughs> no, no, you can apply. There's ground floor. Uh, positions. There's not only high flying positions. If you can't fly, don't apply. <laughs> That's all true, we want. True. Motherfuckers with wings on their ass. <laughs> Float your fairy ass out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, we have reached our level of inebriation. Uh, we're going to call it. This has been another episode of the Inebriated Podcast. Check us out on all social media platforms. Check us out on the email, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. We are on all social media platforms. If you want to listen to us on the go, audio only, iTunes, SoundCloud. Uh, what's another one? Sp Spreaker. We are on all social media platforms. So please come check us out. 
this high energy new episodes every week. This has been the Inebriated Podcast. Thank you for listening. Ya tú sabes.